Oh, sorry. <laughs> to apologize, is that working? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Oh, excellent. Sorry. Um, I'd like to put forward Councillor John Smith for a uh, chair. I can have to step in with councillors <coughs> more to propose Excuse me, is it possible to turn the sound up a little bit? Yes, certainly. Yeah. On your control panel, there's a little button on the, yeah, the right hand side one. Let's turn that up a little bit more, a little bit more to see how you go with that. One, two. Is there anybody who can hear me? Somebody must be able to hear you. You're very faint, Paul. Is that any better? Fine. So the world's got theirs on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The red light's off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try another one. I'm pretty close to you. I've got a red light. Anybody hear me now? Yes. Okay, okay. Right, so we'll have a vote for my first favourite. Councillor John Smith. In the chat. In favour. In favour. Okay. I'm going to um, abstain from all of these votes. So that's all in favour of my abstention. Um, John, come to the Thank you, Ryan. I'd just like to say thank you for the uh, nomination and the support, and we would hope to uh, going forward from the Parish Council. Uh, delivers what the parish needs as soon as uh, we can get to, uh, to grips on the uh, issues that we have. Okay, thank you. Our first item, second item, sorry, 2122, to receive apologies for absence. No apologies received. Yeah. The, reason, the reason there was a, a line for apologies for absence was because the uh, agenda was printed prior to hearing that Councillor Birkin had resigned. Uh, Councillor Bruton and Councillor Birkin resigned. Any information about that is on the parish website and the notice board. 21.12.3. So no declarations of interest and request for dispensations to discuss or discuss a vote on a matter in which a member or a member has a disposable pecuniary or non pecuniary interest or any prejudicial interest. Can I ask anyone, any councillors who have any interest or prejudicial or not? None here. No. No. Okay, and I have none. Next item 21.12.4, open forum. Comment questions concerning items on this agenda we put to the council during this period. Matters which, in Chair's view, require debate and discussion will refer to the next county, that council meeting as appropriate. Public forum is list is restricted for the to 15 minutes unless the Chair allows it otherwise. That's if there's any members of the public who have any points to raise. Roger. Thanks, Chair. Um, I would have to say how pleased I am to see that the Parish Council is moving on in terms of electing a new chair, a new vice chair, chairs of committee, uh, and so on. That's good, that's good news as far as I'm concerned. What, what bothers me most at this point in time is whether or not the Parish Council as a whole is going to survive. I'd like to point out to the Parish Council that the minutes of Cheshire East's Constitution Committee 
uh, meeting held on Tuesday the 6th of April, the printed minutes have now appeared, and I would recommend that the council read very carefully um, the paragraphs which precede the heading of resolved and the paragraph which immediately follows that. Uh, I make that recommendation because uh, there are issues about who will pay for any referendum that might occur. Such a referendum would have to be requested by the parish council. Um, and the outcome of that referendum, is it to be binding, maybe binding on the uh, Constitution Committee, but may not be binding on Cheshire's Council as a whole? And so I think I would recommend that the parish councillors uh, look at those minutes and uh, sort of went very carefully as to what might happen during this consultation period. I should add that the neighbourhood plan steering group submitted a nine page document to Cheshire East Council asking that uh, the proposed merger of Handball, Wilmslow, and Chorley did not go to public consultation. I didn't receive any response to that request, but Alan Murdoch, the vice chair, did receive a response, and it was to the effect that Cheshire East couldn't um, go along with that suggestion, and so they are determined that this proposed merger will go to public consultation. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Roger. Any other members of the public have any comments? No, thank you. Move on. Next item 21 at 12 5. To elect the Vice Chair to have both Paris Council and sign the Declaration of Acceptance in the Office. I would like to pose Councillor Moore as Vice Chair of the Paris Council. I'd like to second it. And have a vote for those in favour. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, no other proposals? No other proposals. Thank okay. you. All those in favour? Anyone against? No. That's unanimous. <coughs> That's more. That's, that's, sorry, it doesn't rhyme substance. Understood. 21.12.6 To elect members to the following committees, groups and outside bodies. And there are four committees, finance, planning, environment and personnel. Given that there are four, given that all four of these uh, committees require to be quorum before we can do anything, I'm suggesting that all councillors become members of all committees. Do you have any comments regarding that? Any comments? Okay. I'd like to propose that motion then that all parish councils are members of, of all four committees. Can I have a vote? Those in favour, please. Second. 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 Yes, Second part of the motion 21126 groups, uh, working group lead grouping groups and lead councillors. There are eleven elements to this. Uh, we believe we should do what I want to propose is that we will defer this item until there's a more full council and in the interim we reorganize these elements such as for those in the public police liaison youth services uh, hpc credit war liaison etc into a project list which the council will address uh, by nominating individuals who wish to take on certain elements of that list. So the proposal is that we defer and reorganise these items into a project list. Why 
and put different countries to work on the some conditions define what the objectives of the rules of these various or these entities. Yeah, so some some do need <coughs> some are quite straightforward, such as police liaison, uh, youth services liaison, friends of the station liaison, I guess, but there are elements in there that do need uh, more definition to it. So that the project list can be quite easily understood by everybody. Do we need to vote on that? Actually, given that we've already voted on 2112. <coughs> right. If we can, okay. So, could I have a second on that proposal, please? Okay. Can we vote in favour of the proposal? One, two. In favour. Well, unanimous. Thank you. 21.12.7, to confirm the council's eligibility criteria to exercise the general plan of competence. Two criteria must be met, two thirds of firms are elected, and the council has a silica qualified clerk. Can you confirm that, Ashley, please? Does need the criteria? Yes. Thank you. Do we need a motion to confirm it? No. Thank you. Next item, 21.12.8. To review the council's level of insurance provision, and uh, I know it's with it's your current of the existing insurers. Does anything anybody have any comments to make about the, the documentation that we've received? Mm -hmm. no? no. And Ashley, as the uh, clerk, you're happy to continue with your mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We pretend to. So leave that as it stands. Yep. Okay. 21.12.9 to agree to sorry, to review and agree Parish Council's 2021-22 risk assessment. It uh, has been updated and satisfactory. <coughs> Does anybody have any comments? Uh, no. No, 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 thank you. Uh, so we can confirm the risk assessment acceptable. Uh, and we propose that the risk assessment is acceptable. Uh, a second. Mm -hmm. second. Mm -hmm. All those in favour? Unanimous. Thank you. Item 21, 12, 10 to receive. Internal audits report. Everybody receive a copy of that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the report um, essentially is few meetings were taking place. Uh, there was not a great deal of business at the council taking place. Um, such a, issues as oak nurseries uh, and any other suppliers who are on a contractual basis to the Paris Council um, were not actually uh, dealt with as quick as it could have been done. Uh, but they are now, as you can see, on either the agenda for this evening or will be on the agenda for the next meeting in order that the uh, auditor is satisfied. We are, pardon, lost my place. We've received the interim auditor's report. Do you need any uh, auditor on that, sorry? Okay, can I just make a comment before we go to that, though, Kate? Um, I think it's unfortunately the worst internal audit report since the conception of this council, and um, it's by no means. Uh, the parish clerk's fault. Um, under the circumstances, the internal auditor did the job that he was paid to do. And if anybody wishes to see the comments, they will be in the parish clerk's office. Okay, so I have a proposal to proceed with the auditor's interim report. Okay. I'll second. Okay. 
to a vote of those in favor. Okay. Yeah. Anonymous. 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 Thank you. So uh, 24, 12, 11. To confirm the arrangements regarding the appointment of the internal auditor for 2021 22. And the proposal is that we retain the current auditor, uh, JB8. Does anyone have any issues with retaining the current auditor? I propose that we accept JD8 as the auditor for next year. Thank you. I vote of those in favour. Unanimous. Thank you. 21, 12, 12, delegation of powers. Motion is to approve the delegation of the parish council's power in respect of planning matters to the plans committee of the parish council and finance matters to the finance committee of the parish council. Does anybody have any comment? No. No? It looks a sense of memory. No. Okay. I have a this is repeating what the Finance Committee's powers are as of yesterday. This was last year. No, the Council is delegating its full authority to the Planning Committee so that the Planning Committee can comment on planning applications without having to refer them back to the full Council. The Finance Committee can also make certain, certain financial decisions within either old or new financial regulation um, that don't have to be referred back to the full council for approval. Well, well, that's what I'm asking. Is that the powers that are delegated remain the same under this report? Yes, that's correct, yes. Yeah. The only, I think the only, the only difference this time is that we're all members of all the entities, yes. so <laughs> you effectively the, um, Asking on full council to vote on this anyway, yeah. when you commit to meetings, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> However, because of our current grant applications policy, we do ask for a recommendation to go back to full council. Mm. 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 You accept that? Yeah. Mm. 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 Five. You know this. Thank you. 21-12-13. To elect the chair to the council's finance committee. I would like both councillor Sanson as the chair of the finance committee. I'd like to. I'd like to second that proposal. Thank you. Yes. Any other proposals for the chair? Finance? No. No. Okay. Can we vote for those in favour, please? Council Sanson, the chair of finance. It's a proposal to elect a vice chair, and um, I'm recommending that we put four or five council on the chair. Good. 
do we need a vice chair? If there should be a requirement, what would be voted on the day? Or by the committee. Or by the committee, yes. You don't need to give it to me. No, that's fine. That's what I'm trying to say. So if we can defer that. That's 21, 12, 14 deferred. Or do you mean a vote against it? You can have a vote. Yeah. Prefer that? Yeah. Yes. So I suppose that's turn around. Mm -hmm. So that was your vote. I thought you were going to say something. Right. So I suppose that's to defer the uh, item 21, 12, 14. Uh, second. Second. Thank you. Those in favour? So that's fine. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Item 21, 12, 15. To elect the chair to, to check the chairs for the fund to the Council's Planning and Environment Committees. I'd like to propose two more. I'd like to second that proposal. Thank you. And then the vote goes in favour. Two more. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have any other, so any other proposals for the Chair of the Council's Planning and Environment Committee. See not. Those in favour? Four in favour, one abstention. Thank you. 21, 12, 16, to elect a chair to the Council's Personnel Committee. And I propose Councillor Julie Smith, please. I think I'll second that. I'll second that. Any other nominations? Chair to the Council of Personnel? Thank you. Uh, a vote, those in favour? All for one abstention. Thank you. 21 12 17 to review the Council's <laughs> standing orders, adopt the new now model. Standing orders. And this is similar for 21 12 18 to review the council's financial regs and adopt the latest now modern financial regulations. That's good to say. Comments to make one. I'd like to make one comment. Um, now is the leading local council authority. We are part of CHALP. And the now um, standing orders, both for finance and for the running of the parish council, are very clear and, and should be adopted. Any more comments? Just one question. I came to me because now actually, we don't understand the modern forms, including the um, I don't believe so. But we have an existing and the current council code of conduct that was incorporated into this yeah. now modern standing orders. We quite like that. And just in case for those members of the public, now National Association of Local Councils. We'll talk about it. So, um, Proposal. Okay. I'll second. Okay. Those in favour, please. Unanimous. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's the motion of the meeting. Oh, the meeting will be standing in order, not the um, financial break. I thought it did both at the same time. Oh, both at the same time. Yes. Sorry. I'm just going to go straight in. Uh, uh, 727. 
Is there a for it? I think everybody who's coming to all meetings is here. And all those who requested yeah. attendance after here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's no objection. Okay. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the meeting. I'm from the Vice Council. Excuse me, 18th of May 2021. The uh, same housekeeping applies as actually mentioned before, should there be a, a fire or an emergency. Mm -hmm. 1921 13 1. Any apologies for absence? So it's still the same as that, isn't it? Yeah. Not received. Not received. Thank you. 21 13 2. To so note declarations of interest and request for dispensation to discuss or discuss and vote on a matter in which a member or county member has a disposable pecuniary or non pecuniary interest. Yes, any other councillors? Do we have any interest? No, no, no. No. Thank you. 21 13 3. Open forum. And as before, the forum was restricted 15, 15 minutes. Uh, as the chairman was advised, and um, concerning items which are actually on this agenda. Mm -hmm. so, any members of the public have any points that they would like to raise concerning items on the agenda? <coughs> yes, Mr. Walsh. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, on item 21.13.11, Concerning the um, tree avenues for Merton Road Park, I would like to ask Council to support this project. It's a really important project. It's in line with the climate um, um, change that we're all trying to um, do our part towards. Um, we had a lot of support for the tree avenues, many of which have been. To enhance the park in many ways. It's good for the environment, it's good for biodiversity. And I think in the, in the big scheme of things, the cost of it is very reasonable. And I, I really hope that we support this. Um, it fits in line with Cheshire's Council policy, lowering. Uh, uh, Carbon footprint. I mean, how long is a piece of string you could go on forever? Uh, what advantage these trees will be in the park? Uh, as you probably know, we've lost a lot of trees over the years in the Mediterranean Park through damage, uh, had to be killed and just died off because of the age. Uh, this will benefit everyone in Hanford and show everybody that we're doing our bits on climate change and maybe encourage other groups in the area. I know that the only group is all on doing their part and they're on board with it and stuff. And I'm sure that if you have any questions, uh, we have um, Mr. Sean Dan, who is probably on the road to the Disability Notification, and I urge you to support it. Thank you. Uh, Chairman, um, on the same item, I'd just like to, to um, say that um, there's very little information here. Um, when you come to that item, is there going to be a presentation um, exactly what it actually um, uh, consists of? Because at the moment, all I see is that there's um, a consideration by the council for an estimated funding balance of five thousand one hundred and forty-eight pounds. What is that for? Yeah, there is a um, project proposal that's come through to the councillors, uh, which details the actual makeup of uh, the amount five one four eight. Perhaps when we get to the actual item, we can ask for any information on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
would be premature in the, the, the council of APC have had got an initiative on the greener site in the village. And there needs to be, I think, an overall plan. Uh, we need to be planting hundreds of trees in this area to make any impact at all on climate change. I think what strikes me is one considering the Wooden Trust who would provide free trees, indigenous mixed trees of your choice, and we're going to cover the whole of handful. That's the way forward. I mean, a lot of volunteers, I think it's part of the group there. We need to plant literally well, thousands of trees actually every bloody year to, to meet the targets. I don't, I don't, you know, part of that stacks up to you, you can't replicate that. It has to be one of trust or another source of free trees, I think, and lots of free land is the way forward. But certainly, it's part of these centuries, clearly, it's part of the But I'm kind of sure I think we need to get the your plan into action first, see how all fits in as a, in the biggest thing. Thanks for that. Any more comments? Okay, so we treat it, it's a family tree of the The proposal is for uh, the 48. The 100s. <laughs> if you look at the, uh, the Climate Change Committee and Will Trust proposal, their intention is we need to plant, roughly speaking, a tree per person per year to put it in for 6,500 trees. Not all that, obviously, because the government are doing their bit, but they could afford very short the target. We need, and we're going to lose the garden village, all trees over there. We need hundreds of trees, not 48. That covers half a car, by the way. 48 trees. Mature, 48 mature trees is half a car. In terms of what the, the car produces. It's in the wind. That's it's all logical. Right. I mean, we need my trees, it's all for that, but it needs to be a bigger picture. Yeah, thank you. Um, but, uh, I think, yeah, well, slightly general point of view, we've got this Cheshire government's um, uh, consultation coming up. Is it the intention of the parish council to produce a sort of clean speech of uh, initiatives, projects, and proposals that it's going to be looking at over the next 12 months or so to show the electorate that, uh, that it is moving forward with things that they've been happening rather than in the past have been more concerned with? Jumping to the parish council rather than doing stuff. So, as I said, we're going to speak to the type of idea to set out the program for the year of the beat and the cruise. Yes, yes, there is. And uh, there will be information given out about that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. 21, 13, four. So approve and sign the minutes of the handful of pressure council meeting on the 20th of April. Does everybody have a copy? Uh, going through by page, and on page one. Page two. Page three. Page four. Those will be accept. Okay. 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 I'm not saying because I wasn't in favour of Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yes, go on. Just um, regarding how uh, people get to see about what's going on in the community. Um, we should really try and utilize the, um, you know, social media groups. Because literally, you see, nobody around here knows what's going on. Nobody. Unless you actually come and hunt it down, or come to one of these, which you have to buy it out yourself. You know, it's not, it's not advertised. Do you know what I mean? So it would be nice to, like, let people know that these things are going on, and what's happening around the community. I think you will find that there will be a, uh, a more uh, obvious presence 
detail in what is proposed and for asking for volunteers and so forth. So that, as I said, people do get what. Yeah. And once that starts moving, it almost takes on a life of its own because uh, every one person gets another person and it, it, it gets the information out there. So yes, it's the intention that it will be publicised. Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, the project list will be publicised as well. Uh, oh, sorry, John, just this is your point exactly. Um, is it possible to consider having the surgery idea with Zoom? So, take a slot every week, month, whatever you like, where somebody's there to discuss that people's input ideas, give feedback. Right? Again, I've been taking what involved. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give the chance of getting involved. And Zoom worked very well in many ways. I mean, it's like uh, the, the concept's fantastic. People can, you know, the kids, whatever. Oh, it's, it's a savage tree or whatever. You just do half an hour and then just pop in, do it. It's absolutely trapped in mind with members of the public. So that's what I think about the work too. Well, I'm going to take it off. Yeah, I'm going to Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. why not? Why not? Why not? Yes, we're open to look at everything. Yeah. Nothing's off the table. Next item 21.13.5 to approve and sign the order of payment to the council for May 2021. I'll discuss that with you after this meeting. I've had to forward them on to the Bondi Techie for review. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, uh, the order of payments for May 2021. Has anybody got a copy? Yes. Yeah. Does anybody have any issues? Accept. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a vote in favour. Accept. Mm -hmm. All in favour. Okay. Okay. So, section one. Annual governance, so 21136, so section one, the annual governance statement, 2021, year ending 31st of March, 21, annual return. And that, and that is, um, the reconciliation is power out using the old chestnut and rounding up, rounding down, which uh, is something we can't make it up. So, Mm -hmm. Unless we get everyone to build and accept money from us to the round bank. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't do that. So, uh, yes. I to sign section one and section two. He's doing seven, I'm very sorry. Fine. I want to sign section one. I don't know what Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, 21, 13, 7, we're to sign section 2 of the accounting statements of the year end. Thank you. 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 Item 21, 13, 8. 
to receive and discuss the tenders and quotation for handing on services, and to agree a new service level agreement for three years, beginning in July 2021, or to a budgeted amount of 17,500 per year. Um, Ashley has gone out and looked for alternatives. Uh, our current animal is the cheapest. That doesn't mean it's necessarily not the best because it just keeps on doing whatever it's asked to do and usually promptly does it well and uh, I would have no um, hesitation in uh, recommending that a new service agreement uh, be entered into within for three years. Does anybody else have any comments about Paul? Um, well, the question I would raise about those three items actually. Um, if just release two matches in the um, what would happen to these three year contracts? Wilms then would have to take them on. Wilms then would have to take them on. Similar to two pages. Nobody any more comments on that? Anyone? Mm -hmm. No? Can I vote in favour? Sorry about the proposal. Thank you. Second. Second. Thank you. Those in favour? Unanimous. Thank you. 21.13.9. Motion is to receive and discuss tenders and quotations for village planting services and to agree a new service level agreement beginning July 2021 up to the budget of about 9,000 per year. Does anybody have any comments about the current situation? Mm -hmm. What's the cost last year? I can't remember. Last year's cost? Sorry. The cost last year. Oh. Gosh. Um, if, if, if two lots of 3,800. Two lots of 3,800. Yeah. 7,6. Thank you. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, there are more plants than there is now. What I want to say though is that Labour Nursery don't do planting. Uh, Moray's Nursery say so you know can do. And is it Northwestern Plants? I think I went to five for this reason. They just do not have the same services as those nurseries. And I know other parish councils have found the same difficulty. So, uh, and I've got some lots of people are happy with the job that they do. Does anyone have any more comments? I'd just like to say that the planters really um, make the village look um, a lot better than it has done. And they are so beautifully planted. I think it's um, a very worthwhile project. Sorry, the only thing I'd ask you though is um, on how many years basis would you like to sign up for this for? What's the minimum? Minimum is two, maximum is five. So is that the same for us? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Barbara, please. Sorry. The ones we're committed to buy. Because of you. Now, so the same thing. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the two. So that we're not. Which means that we need in another two years. Mm -hmm. yeah, we go on what might happen to that supplier yeah. in the next couple of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So two years. Two years basis. Yes. On the same on that basis. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that can okay. you vote on that? Yes. Yeah. 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 No, didn't. Yeah. Didn't vote on it, did we? No. No, yeah. they, they were good. No, all was in favour. Thank you. Yeah. That's in favour? That we've ended it to two years. We've got set on the nurseries. Thank you. 21, 13, 10. To receive and discuss the tenders and quotations for Christmas lighting services and to agree a new service level agreement for three years, beginning July 2021, to the budget of more than 19,000 per year. Anybody have any comments on that? 
Do you have any opportunity to change this a little? Do you have any opportunity to change this price a bit this week? A lot. Probably, probably not. Um, I could try. I can certainly try. You might shave us off. But we wouldn't be looking for any uh, degradation in what they're supplying. No, no. Which is one of those things that, if you want a good show, I would tend to get from these people. It's, uh, it's not cheap. But it's very popular with it's not everybody in Apple. Ashley, you did go out and get 10 minutes. Yes, yes, we've got them. Like come out and as one of the, the best with their maintenance contract. With the maintenance the and they're coming out to yeah. fix things, absolutely. Yeah. Which the others didn't yeah. provide, that was an additional cost. This is included. I yeah. think this is very good. Well, I'd just like to say that the services that we've received from them so far have been absolutely brilliant. And uh, when we had issues with the lights, they came out and repaired them. When we were allowed to switch on, uh, which hopefully we'll be back, um, they were equally brilliant and you know, their costings are very good. And uh, I think they've give, given us very good service, quite honestly. And the Christmas lights just make the village look fabulous. And the comments that I've had, uh, I, I couldn't tell you, I've had endless comments, and people would be very, very upset if they disappeared. When do they need to be advised that they've uh, got the job? Uh, when you guys vote on it. Right, so it's just because they need it's, it's heading towards it to summer now, isn't it? That's what they need to get. Yeah, you know, through, through May. We get through May. Yeah. And can we uh, put a caveat in there that um, subject to not being, won't be committed if there should be governmental action or uh, whatever, another lockdown, so that we're not held responsible for paying for stuff that they're not going to be able to do? Uh, they were able to do it last time. Sorry. We were able to do it last time. Right. Yeah. Right. So that didn't shouldn't be an issue then. No, that didn't oh, happen. Sorry. Thank you. Now, the motion is to uh, continue with the service agreement for three years. Thank you. All in favour? Unanimous. Thank you. Motion 21 13 11 uh, to receive a project submission from the Rotary Chief of Royal Group, Friends of Merit and Park Group and Ample Cutting Group, for consideration by the Council, estimating funding balance required by 148. Uh, <coughs> any comments on that? Can I um, just make a comment about this? We did agree. Uh, at the HPC meeting of the of March 16, um, <clears throat> that HPC would be spending a thousand pounds on having a professional come in. That professional has started and um, we'll be looking at all our woodlands and green spaces. And I'd just like to read out to you um, the mission statement. Hanforth Woodlands and Green Spaces will provide a green lung for the village. In partnership with landowners, they will as far as possible be accessible, understood and valued, and enable a resource for local recreation, education, and reflective connection with the environment. They will be integral to people's enjoyment of the parish and valued for the amenity and ecological contribution they make to the quality of the life of local people. Each woodland will be structurally diverse and boast many veteran tree specimens and habitats for diverse wildlife. They will be resilient to climate change, 
pests and diseases, and increasing visit to pressure. Associated ponds, wet flushed brooks, grassland and hedgerow will complement woodland, creating valuable niches for non-woodland species. Handfuls woodlands and green spaces will enjoy the protection made possible through local policies and be the cherished stronghold for nature in an increasingly developing community. And their management will be a model of good practice for similar parishes. <laughs> With that in mind, um, because this is ongoing, at this moment in time, I feel that I can't support the application um, for that very reason. It doesn't mean to say it's um, being kicked into touch. I think it just needs to be looked at with the overall plan so that we are fair to all our parks, all five of them, and um, just spread the resources that we have at our um, in our hands in a, an even manner. Thank you. Um, I have a question about the uh, the actual the request. The parish council overall hands out grants for items which are for groups within Hamforth. I'm a little confused why uh, a rotary club from Chivo would be, it would seem, uh, the lead um, organisation on this, rather than the long-standing Friends of the Park group. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you, Chairman. Good evening, everybody. And I appreciate the opportunity this evening to come and talk to you about the proposal uh, of planting two uh, avenues of trees in Merriton Park which I think is a very sad part of this moment in time, uh, and also to outline our request for financial support. I'm going to take you back and I can maybe tell you a potty history of how we arrived here. First of all, Rotary has got 1.2 million members across the world. We work in any area, but we have to have the title of where we live in the title of the group. So there is a Rotary Club in Wilmslow, called the Wilmslow Rotary Club. We are called Rotary Chiba Royal because we meet in Chile. Rotary works across the globe in any areas. It's not peculiar to Chile. Back in 19, uh, 19, uh, well, three, about three years ago, our global president asked us to plant a tree. All 1.2 million Rotarians plant a tree across the world. We, as a local group, decided to investigate a monitor park or an area where we could plant trees to address what we've been asked to do. So we did the research and we came upon Meriton Park. We met with the very active Meriton Park friends of Meriton Park uh, group and discussed our proposal. I then approached Cheshire East Council with the idea and all the, all the proposal plans that we got and what we were trying to do and the species, species of trees that we were recommended by Hanson. Cheshire East Council gave us the approval to plant the trees in the park. So since three years ago, we've been trying to raise funds to fund the trees. Unfortunately, the last more or less two years, we've not been able to raise any more funds. However, we did approach Manchester Airport who granted us money, and we've now managed to get to two and a half thousand pounds to go towards the total cost. Total cost of each tree broken down, taken out the VAT, which is recoverable. The actual cost of each tree is £80, plus VAT. 
Let me just, and hopefully all the councillors have got a copy of the group. <laughs> the councillors know where I'm coming from. Some of these people here, as they've said earlier, they don't know what's going on, but I'm trying to address that. Let me just correct something that one person said to me a few days ago. We can get three trees from the Woodland Trust that's been sent in this evening. Here's a tree from the Woodland Trust. That's the size between 15 and 30 centimetres, about a foot. That's a free tree from the Woodland Trust. They come in packs. You do not have the choice. In the packs, for instance, there's oak trees and there's willow trees. I don't think Merrington Park needs any more oak trees or willow trees. This is what we're proposing. The two to three year old tree that will be about seven to eight foot high. If anybody wants to damage this, they're going to have a problem. If anybody wants to damage this from the Woodland Trust, which is free, that will go. <coughs> we can't see much of a chance of raising any more funds this year because of the pandemic. This would be the reason we're asking for partnerships, as we asked Manchester Airport Community Fund, to partnership with us and the Woodland, uh, the Woodland Group and friends of the park to join as a group <coughs> to plant these trees in the park, which, by the way, has been adopted by Cheshire East in the overall plan for the park. <coughs> Our proposal to plant the trees has been adopted by Cheshire East Council and incorporated into their plan for the park. It's still in one form. Yes, I understand that. It has to go to consultation. Yeah. But we've already had permission to plant the trees in the park now. It's not going out to consultation. Cheshire is just added the our plan into their plan as of when, as of when we gave us permission two years ago. So. Yeah, it's on the master plan. It's on the master plan. It is on the master plan. Yeah, on the draft. The draft master plan. But they've already given us permission to plant the trees. If it's agreed at public consultation, the whole draft. I have been writing. The whole draft plan is going out to public consultation in the next few weeks. Fine, okay. What I'm saying is they've already given us permission and haven't been writing before the draft plan came out or was made available. So that you already had permission from that writing. I haven't seen writing from as part of that. Pardon? Part as part of the plan that is not the design. No, 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 no. We were given permission to plant the trees two years ago by Cheshire East Council. And the trees that we're proposing were recommended by Hansen. Asked to uh, comment on the five year plan that was published in the last few weeks. Isn't it Isn't that possible that both things are true? The plan is a draft, but they have been given permission. Yeah. I, mean, I can't see a problem. I mean, the, the plans for the trees to go alongside parts exist, and um, there's a lot there to be done. So, thank you. Practical. Yeah, so, my, my, my original question was why would a rotary club from Chile be fronting uh, a request? For a group that includes a park within Hampton. It's a park within Hampton that the whole parish council would make a grant to, not to a wrong to from yeah. Chile. Well, hopefully, I, I, I thought I'd explain that the rotary works everywhere. I understand that, and, I, and I've read your letter to <coughs> March 29th, which effectively is what you'll say for the benefit of everyone here. Which is actually in this letter about with the um, 
uh, well, the, yeah, the um, international uh, president of the EU, Secretary on the street. It's what I, I do understand. But the question is still, why would you not be planting trees in Chile? Why do you want to do it in There's not a suitable place to plant the trees in Chile. But as I said, like, rotary, rotary works everywhere. We were instrumental in putting an outside gin in the girls' park. They were instrumental in planting a bunch of rose trees. Well, I think that in the they, memorial garden in, in Moonflow. My understanding is that Moonflow being so responsible for the outside gin at, at the girls' park. Right. And which other yeah. group are part of? Right. <laughs> And what I'm trying to get is why would why would Hempel benefit this? Does it really matter? <coughs> well, it does. We need to make it legal. Let me explain the reason it matters is because the you know, Hempel Parish Council and we spend on behalf of the council and of council taxpayers' precepts and we intend to spend that on Hempel uh, facilities. Should the Friends of Berry Park group put forward an application for a certain amount of it has to be five hundred pound or less. That's the uh, individual grant amount was changed by the previous chair um, of finance. So why can't friends of because we won't be able to I'm, I'm guessing you're not expecting to put five thousand pounds. Unless I guess you're not expecting the Paris Council to put five thousand pounds. We're asking is the finance towards the total amount that's outstanding. Whatever well, that's amount that the Parish Council group be there. Well that yes, well that would be five hundred pounds as a individual grant cost, which would require as part of our grant procedure to come from an organization within Hopeful, not Rotary International. I think it's quite right. <coughs> I think uh, we say that we won't. Uh, provide money towards national charities. Well, but that doesn't mean to say that we wouldn't, for example, provide money towards the Royal British Legion Club. No, but what we're saying is that it's a, if it was Hamburg British Legion, obviously, then that possibly would have to be looked at. But what I'm saying is that. Think of money to the of Central. I don't know if they're afraid of that. They were spending the income for they were spending the services. That's a desperate situation. Yeah, but the, the money that was given to Hope Central was specified to be used for oh. the residents of Hope And that's what they're the doing. So. Oh. I don't know that, I don't know that. Um, you just ask them to try to get to the end of the Well, I don't know that happens at that. But I hope Central said In Hanford. And I think that really it, it should be done by the parish council and not through a third party. This project is going to be done by those people, whether we have anything to do with them or not. Well, only probably I mean, I mean if we have a commission, we should choose to plant the trees. It's just a question of, as far as I can see, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you're going to do the project. It's a question of how soon, which is dependent on how soon we have the money. Correct. Well, planting seems we to be open now will, anyway. Yeah. We will proceed with this project because we've got permission from Cheshire East. <coughs> as soon as we've got the fund, we will commence. Planting season's over. I'm quite aware of that, but 
So when would they be planted? Let's say we come on October and we've got the funds, they'll be planted before anything else is starting on this master plan from Cheshire East. Our tree will go in first. They said that. Who was it there? I can't remember if it's up in the morning. I have issues about other things. Ruth Morgan was the first to move the dealing with from cancer. What? Ruth Morgan was the first to move the dealing with through cancer. Can I just add one thing that perhaps hasn't quite been mentioned? A number of us on the Indian notary are actually living here in Hanford, which is why we have an particular interest in this. It's not that we're living away somewhere. <coughs> we are locals. Yes, that, that's not necessarily. Yeah, that's not that, 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 as may be. I still stand by the fact that um, any grants that we issue in the parish council are for organisations within Humble. I'm quite happy to ask uh, Mrs. Walsh as. Uh, I think he's still chair of the market and he's going to come up to submit a joint application uh, in, under the normal procedures to, to Ashley and then it will be looked at at the first level of the first article. Can I just come back on that? Originally, this was a project from Rose Ray and not thanks to the part of the room. And those who had already got permission from Cheshire East Council and um, Council on Board for this project, we met up with Cheshire and the Cheshire and we had a conference for stipulates and many local people and we discussed it as our group meeting and the group decided, yeah, we would like to get involved. But it was not our project initially. We had been working alongside the military to try and raise funds for the project. We are making donations to the as their And I can't see any valid reason of why Parish Council can't support this project. It is going to be for people of Hanford. People of Hanford are going to benefit. So yeah, I, can't, I can't see why uh, you're bringing these objections to, to supporting it. I, I think the problem is that it would set a precedent that any large organisation come to Hanford Parish Council for the same reason that you just mentioned and expect money from Hanford Parish Council. I'm concerned that it goes to the individual organisation that will benefit from it, which in this case is the, uh, the power group. Uh, because once that's done, Notional by the Prince of Sunset, job done, yes? And done somewhere else. But uh, the power is the one who will be benefiting from the money. So the members of the park individually and then people who use the park benefiting from it. But um, I, the park will benefit from it. And the people of Hanford, as I just said. So my point is that we're, we're, <laughs> the parish are looking to hand over money to an international organisation. Why do you, I thought, give out money? I thought that was what Notary did. Sorry. Good point. Good point. Uh, climate change isn't. Uh, Good point. Trees, what's ensure, will sequester CO2 from half a car. There's one half thousand cars in Pound or through the mass. It might look very nice, but it ain't climate change. It's not good value for climate change. You need oh. hundreds of trees, hundreds and hundreds of trees. Excuse me, oh. yeah, may I say, was it not the point though that with every little helps? Not five thousand pounds, I don't think. It has to be cost effective. We have to start somewhere. But not with five thousand pounds. Oh. I'll, I'll tell you something, there are loads of trees over the bypass which could be moved at some point, oh. uh, saplings oh. of various sizes and um, indigenous types. It needs manpower. Uh, Volunteers to bring them across to wherever we decide to put them. It's, it, it doesn't stack up. You, it has to be free trees and free labour. And lots of, you know, 1.5 billion trees in the next 30 years. 48 years. We, we haven't got enough open ground in Hampton. 
to plant them. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. <laughs> Dog Walker and Integrity Places, right? Well, we haven't actually, but there's loads of spaces to put trees. It needs organisation, it's just starting, it needs free trees, it needs free labour. That's quite a bit of work in this area. 40 trees per person per annum. Continue. So one tree per person <coughs> for 30 years, 1.5 billion trees. That's the current chance of the the world trust, that's the perceived wisdom, if you like. It's not enough, actually, if you work it out. It, just, it isn't enough, but it's, it, again, it will help. But we have to, by 2030, we have to cut each of us the half of carbon footprint by 2030. That's another big thing. And it's a big issue. And this doesn't address it at all, I don't think. It's laudable, it will look very nice, it just it's, it's cost effective. Well, there has to be another way. I mean, that's, I think it's confusing to entirely different things. This is somewhat like saying we shouldn't spend 19,000 pounds a year on Christmas lights because they're going to burn up. You are. We'd be better spend 19,000 pounds a year on planting wooden trees. This is this is a this project, is a project, this is a project to be beautiful. But that what we said, if that's the case, different argument. The argument was, is climate change, that was the big argument actually, it was being put forward. Well, it's a we had to plant trees, I agree totally with that. We had to a bigger picture of things, after the whole village, all the beautiful places, and to have a, a, a massive plan. My, it it might happen, it's not sure, given the plan is in place yet. My home city, I have <coughs> uh, a semicircular street. With about 30 very big mature cherry trees around here. And that was a tourist attraction. It was just magnificent. Mm -hmm. And we lasted for two or three years. Yeah, I'll go with that. Good argument. I, I think that would make a very fantastic contribution to our trust. <coughs> Probably it'd be the most beautiful thing we have in our trust. I'll just have time to it. With eight farm change. Um, okay, fair enough. Let's make sure it produces zero climate change. That's the thing to do. I think, uh, I think with, with, with great respect, I think we're talking about utopia here. What we're talking about is a group. First of all, let's forget the word cheetle in our title, in Rotary. You, my friend, are talking utopia. I'm talking, I'm talking instant enhancement for a park that's very sad. Chance you tell me where to trace. Well, it's going to be a long time before all these three sticks grow into anything reasonable to address climate change. There's <coughs> other way. So, uh, so uh, just in terms of trade, I'm afraid we've spent a long, long time on this. But one more point from Steve. I just want to respond to you. You think about the, I'm not, I'm not getting to us where we're in the way of what you expect. We look a little bit like Selman, it's a quick and pop the news and what you want to snap like that. That's not what they're all like. I've yeah. seen them all. Well, I've seen them fucking, they're not like that. The word back on So, come and quick, say, you know, you can get to how it is. <coughs> Tell us a bit of rubbish. This is enough. I'm not saying anything. Just be comfortable going out because we have to make people back to the same effort. I'm pointing out the facts. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I need to draw this to a close before we do have other business that we need to attend to. Um, and there has been an exhausting discussion on this matter. Um, as Councillor Moore has said, there is a mission statement for the council within the uh, area to really go after climate change as much as possible with um, professionals who um, are happy to, to get involved. Uh, there are volunteers as well who are looking to do that. As I've said, I wouldn't be able to support a grant to the Roger, sorry, donation, donation program to um, what I perceive as Rotary International should uh, Friends of the Marymount Park uh, submit a grant, I would happily support it. Couldn't you take a vote on that? So I propose that we move on, but would recommend that uh, Friends of the Marymount Park submit a grant to the park. 
Yeah, I'd just like to say that looking at the man's plan, I, I think it's, I, I agree with Brian. It is a beautiful idea. I think it's something that we could build into the parish council um, project list. There's no reason why I can't work with the friends of the park build that into the project list and yes let's have avenues of cherry trees but i agree with you brian because they're more beautiful so yeah the, the thing that i uh, i'm not happy about is that the parish council have a grant procedure and it has to be followed and we don't I, well i've never known the parish council in all the years i've been coming here to give donations to parks so I'm against it for that reason, and I think that we should carry it forward with the planning and environment committee. In the league. Yeah, absolutely. And, and look at it in an overall picture um, so that we, we're looking at the whole, not just the part. That's my biggest concern. We're just looking at a part here. We need to look at the whole, and once we've got that picture, then will be it will be very much clearer as to where we go and what we do. And as I said before, um, it doesn't mean to say that this project will never happen. But just at this moment in time, I just cannot agree that um, we could give this amount of money. That's my personal vote. There are sorry. there are um, whenever I get the minutes to put somewhere as asking for money, a grant. I always trying to do a little bit of research myself and the first thing that I came up with a company called primrose.co.uk who supply trees five foot tall they're two years old not a little sapling like that and they're 28 pounds each so there is facility out there to buy a lot of trees for that amount of money but I would reiterate that I would want to be uh, happy to support should we get a grant application from the friends of the power group can I just come back because this project is all over the way, personally, I think it would be very difficult to change track now and for the friends of Meritage to go apart at the same time. Obviously, the group would have to discuss it and make a decision, but um, as it's all, all money has already been given uh, towards this project and it was a very good project initially. I think it will be very difficult to backtrack and it will cause complications. I understand, I understand that. Is that what you said? Having worked in project management, you don't get things rolling until you've got the cash ready or you have means of paying for it uh, or it's planned to pay for it. So that, that it might have to take a step back because the money isn't there. I'm afraid that's, um, that's not a handful of most consolation, I'm afraid. Most chicken and egg, isn't it? I mean, you don't, you don't find the funding to try to raise funds until you've got the project that you want to raise the funds for. And that's, that's right. Yes. Into it. That's that. yes, you raise the funds once you've got a commitment to those funds. It's in your head. In the same way that happened in another part where we wanted to fund a skate park. We got the designs and then we went out and got the grant money for it from um, various organisations. Which and then, and then it was, and, and yes, but we got the money before we started. Now you're, you're saying that it was, we'll have to take a backward step, we'll take a backward step and get the money together. Yeah, That's I, what I'm saying. I, I, so, I think we need to take a backward step in that respect. I meant to take a backward step as the devotary, not being the instigators of the project, which they still are. Um, we're just working alongside them. So it, it would be unfair after all the work and the research that they have done to find the kinds of medicine to just come in and say, well, we want to say something about it. Well, that's because exactly that's already been made to demonstrate not yes. to our group. I understand what you're saying. Unfortunately, that's the way that the Apple Parish Council grant works, that it's for organisations within Apple, and I wouldn't be able to support donating money to Rotary International, even though you said, as you say, it's a very good worthy cause, but it's not going to um, hamper the organisation, as I've seen. 
we have to we could have we could have done it 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 we could Taking this as far as I think you can go, um, and, and I need to call the vote. As, as I said, I would recommend that, uh, and for that's the friends of Mary Parker put together a grant application to get it to the clerk, and we'll look at it sympathetically. Um, but I would like to call the vote as well to propose whether to accept the grant application or not. So, the donation, a big part. So, Anyone in favour of the donation taking place? Of any donation taking place at this time? Is anybody in favour of any donation taking place at this time? Yes. Thank you. One in favour. Any against a donation being taking place? I'm not against this as long as Councillor Moore puts it into her project. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I just feel that um, we could um, get cherry trees in all the parts because there's not this one part in the Yeah, that's, that's the issue, isn't it? We're just dealing with one part. And <coughs> what Councillor um, told us said before, we could donate trees. Yes, we could. And, and I don't have a problem with that. But we must treat everybody the same. But yes, I, this will certainly. Um, be uh, part of looked at in the plan, and uh, then when the overall plan is put together, which shouldn't take too long, um, and hopefully will be finished by the end of the summer, I, but I'm not promising that, um, then we can move forward, and yes, we could take on board ideas about donating trees and the like. Uh, so with that in mind, then, I don't want to vote against it because I'm not against it. I want to abstain. Could it be another one of those against making the donation in this form for these uh, trees? Anyone else? I'm abstaining. I'm abstaining with the hoping the council of all. We can get the project together and we can look at it and yeah. invite all those other part people to come to the meeting to decide uh, what amount of money is required for whatever is needed. Yeah. Well, as I said, I can't support the grant in this format. Should it come from, sorry, no, no, sir. Uh, should there be a grant application from Pentamere or Pan? It should go to the clerk, and uh, all the details are on the website of the grant estate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so do we say that this is not going forward then? No, you're voting in favour or against it? I'm voting against it. Yes, yes. I'm asking. Wow. Let me see if I'm uh, I'm afraid it's like a no score draw, effectively. Uh, one in favour, one against, and three abstentions means can't go forward with it at this stage. I've got a no, but it's not a yes. I've never seen that happen. But there we go. Well, thank you for your time that you've taken to do this one. Thank you. Item 21, 13, 12. Motion is to abolish the current terms of reference for the following. Green Hand for the Advisory Group, Finance Committee, Planning Advisory Committee, Strategic Planning Group. Now it's not standing order to use in the interim until any new terms of reference are adopted by EPC. Any comments, please? Uh, yes, I absolutely agree. I should be a Yes. And standing on as a doctor. Are we taking it in two separate things? No, because you have to stop this The whole thing is wrong. Yeah, can I vote? Motion. 
Juan Sacruz. Con Sayla. Y Sayla. Ya está, son abstaining. Ok. 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 Council and we have a newly elected ward council. And I wanted people to be informed in handful by minutes or by whatever means that the people of Hanford should know what is happening at Cheshire East. Now, unfortunately, it was voted against. So I brought it back tonight in the home that our present ward council. Councillor Judy Smith, um, and I understand that Councillor Burke, who is still a ward councillor, will from time to time, but on a regular basis, give us an update of what's happening in Cheshire East. Because otherwise, we don't know. We're just as much in the dark unless I specifically ask a ward councillor what is happening. Because I don't get a newsletter from Cheshire East anywhere. Or the answer to get anything. And I think it's a, a way forward for letting handful tax payers and non tax payers uh, know what's going on. And that's my point. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> um, this is with my other hat on. I'm not going to talk too much about what, what's happening at Cheshire East, more about what's, what's happening within Handful as far as my role as a, a, a ward councillor goes. Um, the first thing I'd like to make everyone aware of is that the Cheshire East applied for an active travel um, grant from the government and were awarded uh, seven, a total of 743,000. Tranche one um, was um, last summer and it supported the installation of temporary projects for the COVID-19 pandemic in the guise of cycle lanes and walking routes, etc. Tranche two then came up for public consultation back in, I think it's February, and I urged everyone on social media to comment on the public consultation, which aren't always um, well subscribed to. We actually had uh, 259 total responses. This is an amount of 588,000 that was available, and there were five areas that were up. Um, that were buying for this money, um, including um, places in Crewe, Macclesfield, and Congleton, as well as Tamsworth and Wilmslow. We were successful, and we now are going to be having a cycle, dedicated cycle lane from Hamsworth into the centre of Wilmslow. Um, and I'm told that I think it's, it's going to be completed by next summer. The cycle lanes that we have at the moment going up Manchester Road past the luxury car dealers where cars park in the in cycle lanes is going to be done away with because cars won't be able to park there because it will be segregated. Um, so hopefully, um, <coughs> sorry, yeah, it, it holds, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Um, so I think it's a really good thing that we've, we've managed to get this through the public consultation. People are a lot more switched on, I'm finding at the moment, um, with regards to what we're doing as the parish council, what we're doing as um, Cheshire East. People want to know what their money is being spent on or what Cheshire East are doing 
when hands there lies, and this is one thing. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be talking to our local PCSO, to um, Onward Housing and other um, people about possibly having some sort of cycling proficiency um, for the youngsters to, so that they can, you know, um, learn how to use the road safely um, and hopefully we'll get more of our young people and older people on bikes and cycling instead of using cars which all go towards reducing the carbon footprint. That's one thing. Um, something else that's been introduced by Bug Council at Cheshire East is that the in the latest budget, the highways, um, highways budget has been cut quite dramatically um, by nearly four thousand pounds, uh, four, four million pounds. So we're left with a situation where only main routes, yeah. really, and really bad problems with, with the highways are going to be sorted as a priority. So one of my fellow Cheshire East councillors came up with an initiative um, to, so that we could offset some of the immediate problems that we might encounter within our own wards. And each council, each ward councillor has been given a budget of £4,200. So that if we have a situation where, I know one of the biggest things in or planned for is um, block gullies. I'm always getting emails and phone calls about block gullies. Now, block gully, gully clearing is on the schedule and it's a two to three year cycle. Um, if we've got a one-off situation with the block gully that's causing a lot of residents' problems, then these budgets can be used to get them out to clear that gully. So it gives us an immediate solution to a potential problem. So I welcome that, that we've got this, we've got this control. I wasn't impressed when I saw the price list for some of these things. I never realised these things cost so much. Um, we, we have been given a price list. <laughs> um, just my biggest um, job at the moment um, that I've taken on is to chase Section 106 money. Now, these are legal agreements from between council and developers, whereby a, an amount of money is given over to Cheshire East for specific problem, for specific projects that are agreed at the time of the plan, the plan commission is um, granted. At the moment, we've got, and this is without um, money from Certain, certain developments that are going on, uh, like the sanctuary. Um, at the moment, we have an account with over £900,000 available to hand for. Uh, currently, 50000 of it is being used to construct the bridge and new path in Merriton Road Park. I believe the bridge has been finished and it is telling me today. Is that, is that right, Mrs. Walsh? I don't think I'm the right person for you to ask. I've not been charged with the bridge building. Oh, I just thought it's because it's in the park. No? Sorry, I was not. I believe it's in the bridge. Is, the bridge has now been constructed anyway. In the park the bridge is visible. I don't know whether it's finished or not. I've been, I've been told today that it's been done. So, coming up. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, so from the new fairway to state into the park, um, and there will be a path from there to the main path in the park. Um, this, as I say, I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of where this money is and how we can get hold of it to complete 
different projects around Pantable, including parking. Um, there's something like 361,000 of it is for affordable housing. There's nowhere to build affordable housing. So we have to start thinking outside the box. I think, um, and it's something that I'm talking to Cheshire East about how we can use that money to fund affordable housing on the new and existing uh, developments. So the only other thing I've got to talk about is that I'm going to be planning some winter picks again for the local community. People have been asking me for them, so I'm going to be doing a couple of winter picks in June which will be advertised and that's it i've not really had much chance to do much at cheshire east in the last month because we've been occurred around we've had um the elections and stuff as well thank you for listening okay thank you. roger with a quick question it's been quite a long-standing bump there but Ward councillors had little or no say in deciding uh, uh, the amount or use of S106 monies. Uh, is that situation likely to change yes. in the near future? Yes. Well, that's yes. excellent news. Thank you. We're, we're certainly hoping so, anyway. Good. Yeah. And so it should. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there is, there is an amount of 205,000 that was agreed from a development that was finished in 2015. And for some strange reason, it was, it was, um, well, it, it was earmarked for a bus service in which there's only five bus stops in Cheshire East. And we've been crying out for funding for buses in the parish council. And, well, the town council, another parish in town council, have had to fund the bus service that we've got now. You know, and there's 205,000 sitting in an account for the last six years. <coughs> that should be. I've been a parish councillor for more than 10 minutes, and section 106 has always been a complete mystery. Yeah, yeah. For everybody, yeah. the stress of people in Cheshire. Yeah, well, I'm hoping to get to the bottom of the mystery. <coughs> and, all I can say is that I'll do my best to do that and release the money and get it spent in the village because if this is this is just us with over nine hundred and forty thousand pounds. Five years ago, I don't know if I think it was one hundred and eighteen thousand coming from the public. We seem to have found the place for the Brian, rest assured. Can I just mention about that? Uh, that Councillor Smith mentioned about the uh, 205,000. It was very strange that um, when the next building was built on Stanley Green, uh, they were committed to spending 410,000 on 106. Uh, a lot of it got spent in various places, some of it on a path, I believe, uh, not necessarily all of it went to the immediate vicinity, which is where it should be spent. But 205,000 of it was agreed by Cheshire East, and I believe it was the, uh, I can't remember which um, committee it was, but agreed that 205,000, half of it, would go to GMPTE in order to spend money on the 312 bus route, which came from Stockport, and the intention was to bring customers to Next on Sundays. Now, I find it quite wrong that the 106 money would be used to get customers into Next, who were supposedly spending the money, and you couldn't make it up. Um, unfortunately, one of the councillors who I was dealing with at the time to try and get this money back, and that's not dead yet, as we've heard, um, unfortunately left the council uh, very quickly, 
and uh, actually owed money from his business in Trafford. Uh, he featured in Rotten Boroughs in Private Eye. So he was you know, a known sort of people that uh, there he was. And whether or not there was something dodgy, I have no idea. But we are still trying to get that money back to where it should be. It's purely only because I was actually involved in it, I wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of the detail of it. Okay. Thank you for that report. And just now to confirm the date of the next HPC meeting, please ask them. They uh, no, should make it the 15th of June. Uh, because of the first being a Tuesday. Uh, just like I said, it's an opportunity we will need to hold the annual parish meeting on the 1st of June. As it is the final day, we can hold the annual parish meeting. Um, 6.30 maybe even. What say? Seven? I got public finance week as well. Oh, right, on the 15th. It's the last Saturday of the month. What day is it? It's the 15th. Q2. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, we will now move on to the uh, plan of the meeting, which I will hand the gavel over to uh, the chair. Thank you for your attendance. Ashley, what's time is it? Uh, quarter to nine. Oh, right, so we can start. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the, um, the Parish Council Planning and Environment meeting. Um, sorry, I need to change the glasses again. Uh, so, I, sorry. Excuse me, Peter. Peter. Mr. Moore. Could you talk outside, please? Right. Um, I shall need to use the YouTube stand. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, item 21.14, want to receive apologies for absence? No, not obviously. Uh, item 21.14, two, to know the declarations of interest and request for dispensation to discuss. Or discussing vote on a matter in which a member or co opted member has a disclosure of pecuniary or non pecuniary interest. Does that apply to anybody here? No. No. Okay. Um, item 2114 3, the open forum for members of the public to make comments on anything at all on the agenda. Yes, Mr. Sorsen. Uh, I have to admit that I haven't looked at any of these planning applications. Ah, okay. <laughs> unusual to me, but um, the planning application is item 21 and 14. Prior um, <clears throat> application for change of use from retail to bakery, uh, number 111, number 0, Rose Handbook. Have there been any objections from the other bakers in the centre of Hanford to this application? I don't believe No, I didn't want to That's interesting. Right. You can't, I think you can't object on competitive ground. No, no. no. I, I think it's um, a Greek bakery or something. It's something a bit it's specialized. It's a bakery. Yeah, cafe bakery. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't believe really you even need to apply for change of use rules anymore. No, no, no. 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 It's developments. Yeah. The, the, there is one other point I'd like to raise. It's not a planning application that's on the agenda tonight, but it is an important application, and that's the one to create a through road in Hall Road to give access to the Sunfield site and an escape route into the... That's uh, been abandoned, I'm sorry if I'm aware. It's still live on the Jishmi's website. 
I'm, I'm, I'm looking into it, but I'm, I'm sure it, it's been, uh, it, it's been challenging. One thing I was going to make was it looks as if there might be signs of, um, what's the word I want, uh, uh, some kind of agreement between Cheshire East and Jones Homes because Jones Homes have now started to build roads within the um, Sunfield site and those roads emanate from the end of Jamie Webb Drive. So I'm hopeful that that impasse is going to be resolved in the, in the near future. What, what, I, what I understand is that the access to that site will come in the bypass. That was always the original intent. Yes. And I believe that Jones Homes have put uh, this planning application in to make all road uh, access road. No, that was always a... They put it in to try and induce Cheshire East Council yes. to grant them cheap access, let's say, across the concrete track. I don't think that was ever done. Mm -hmm. no, no. Ever a serious application that right? because it's it was so ridiculous. And please be to see from us every school child that benefits. I know. I know. I know all that. Yeah. 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 Please yeah. be to see that every school almost every school child that benefits body and objection. Okay. Yeah. Well, can I have any other comments? No? Okay, we'll move, move on to item 21.14.4, which is to approve and sign the minutes of the Planning and Environment Committee meeting of the uh, 20th of April. <coughs> Does anybody have any uh, comments, any issue with the minutes? <laughs> Can I, can I just um, like to make one comment? I'd like to have a speech without any detail to talk about the long view. Yes, it is excellent. Uh, yes. It wasn't me. I can't take the credit. It had already been something. <laughs> 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 Okay, so shall we just take it page by page? Any objections to page one? No. no. Councillor Tom, are you okay with page one? Okay. Uh, any two? No. no. Three? No. Four? No. This is all the um, thing. Five? No, no. Six. No. Seven, there's nothing on there. So that's fine. So we're going to have to close the piece. I'm closing. I'm stepping in. I'm going to take a vote then, please, to accept those minutes. Okay, yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to item 21 14 5, which is to consider the planning application 21. 2189M, which is prior notification for change of use from retail to bakery, ground floor 111 Wonsley Road. Chair, I'd like to like to say that it's better to have the retail unit open than it really being shut up. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, the, the man, um, the man, yeah. And they're planning a lot of. Um, Renovations, so it, I think it will make it look quite yeah. quite I'd like, small. I'd like to make a comment on yes. that I am not on board with it because we have twenty three food outlets between the wagon and horses and the bull's head, and there's only so much business that we can do in handful. Um, I don't, are we sure that they actually need the damage now? They don't do this. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what this is all relevant because of the damage. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. 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 like academic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
game business, um, physical games, not not computer games. It was one of the um, people, Scarecrow, one of the Scarecrows, the Harlequin Scarecrow, Harlequin Games. They were desperately looking for premises in Antwerp, and that would be an ideal for them, I think. And instead, we've got yet another food out last. That's all I want to say. Okay. Well, we don't need to well, consider it then if uh, we don't need, to, don't need to vote on it, do we? Take a vote. We'll add those comments in, but. I don't know. Don't, don't, don't 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 There's no benefit. There's no benefit. Okay, so we will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving on to item 21 14 6 to consider planning application 21 0621M. Um, uh, now, I'm not going to read it all out. Um, it's the uh, illuminated posters and so forth for yeah. Long Mile Drive. Mm-hmm. I think it's already been passed, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, again, it's. I think it's fast. Um, moving on to 21147 to consider the planning application 212343M, two story side extension and single story rear extension comprising of additional bedroom with ensuite and enlarged kitchen living space to 18 Marlow Drive, Campbell. In keeping. In keeping, yeah. Do we have any comments? Councillor Tolver, any comments? In keeping. In keeping, yeah. (laughs) Okay, can I have a proposed, a proposed please to? And a second then? Okay, can we have a vote on that, please? Those in favour? In favour. In favour. Thank you. Uh, and the last item of the meeting, item 21.14.8, to consider the planning application 21.2036M, planning approval to bring the front of the house level with the current single storey porch. The right hand side of the property would be 2.54 square metres extension. Next. I think the next two of the neighbouring linked detached garage, new pitched roof would replace a flat roof, replace fa- facade tiling on the front of the house with UVPC grey panelling. UPVC, do you know, I can never get that right now, right? <laughs> There's a 2 d town for, does anybody want to comment on that? No. No. no, I did notice there was an objection from the neighbour, but it was something to do with lights, and yeah. I don't think they have any right to light these yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. May I have a proposal, please? A second then? Okay. All those in favour? In favour. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody, for attending um, the Parish Council meeting. And we look forward to seeing you at the next one and the annual meeting on the 1st of June. We should be looking into having tablets. Having tablets. Yeah.